Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels for ESA's Web TV, and today we're speaking with Jean Yves Legal, who is the president of the French space agency CNES. Now, Jean Yves, I understand that there is a new directorate at CNES. It's the Directorate for Applications, Innovation, and Sciences. You've also hosted Innovation Day. Why this focus on innovation? In fact, uh, we have uh, today a space sector worldwide, which is uh, changing uh, very quickly for two reasons. The first one, uh, more and more people uh, are involved in space in different countries, in particular emerging countries, because the cost to develop a space system is lower and lower, and uh, so uh, there are more and more actors. The second reason is that uh, we have uh, what is so-called new space, with a number of uh, new companies coming from the internet world and uh, entering into the space market with a very descriptive approach. And uh, if uh, us uh, space agencies uh, want to resist and to continue to exist facing uh, this new competition, we have to invest deeply in innovation and to attract uh, new people using uh, space systems but uh, coming from outside and to explain to them why space is so interesting. And this is why I decided to create in CNES a direction of innovation, applications and also science because the science is a fantastic uh, way to develop uh, new uses of spaces, new technology, and so it makes a wall and it works. Now what are some of the highlights coming up for CNES in the next months, not only for this directorate, but for CNES on a whole? Oh, for CNES, we have a permanent highlight. Uh, you saw uh, this uh, pavilion at the Paris Air Show when uh, we focus on uh, innovation, climate, uh, uh, exploration, uh, cooperation, uh, inspiration for young people and so on and so on. But uh, we will have a number of uh, very important events uh, starting in August with the launch of the French-Israeli uh, satellite Venus to observe vegetation. After that, uh, in uh, October, we will have uh, a number of conventions just to involve newcomers of the space arena and so on and so on. Next year we will have of course the launch of InSight with NASA for the exploration of Mars and day after day we are continuing to build Europe in space within the frame of ESA which is quite interesting. Now next month I understand you are going to become the chair of the ESA Council. Can you tell me a bit about what that role entails and some of the hot topics coming up? First of all, this is a very big honor because uh, when uh, 22 member states uh, elect you as the chair of the council, of course, uh, for me it has a lot of value. But uh, we have uh, very, very exciting challenges in front of us. The next two years are going to be uh, tremendous uh, in terms of uh, challenges because we have the preparation of the ministerial of uh, 2019 to continue all what uh, is ongoing and uh, the years to come are going to be probably uh, the most exciting in the history of ESA. Now, I understand you'll also be visiting ESA's Ezrin Center for Earth Observation in Italy. What will you be discussing there? Can you tell me a bit about uh, Earth Observation b between CNES and ESA? In fact, uh, CNES is the first partner of ESA and ESA is the first partner of CNES. And uh, this is uh, the case in the field of Earth observation. And uh, what uh, is performed today in S3 is absolutely uh, outstanding, in particular with Copernicus. The images of the last uh, Sentinel to be are uh, absolutely beautiful and they've been shown in uh, different occasions. And so we have to discuss uh, with uh, uh, Joseph Avbarer of the future of our cooperation. Now as somebody who has made his career in the space industry, what is it about this that inspires you? We are today in a period which is uh, very interesting because there are more and more uh, uses of uh, space uh, on planet Earth, but also more and more uh, ideas to go beyond planet Earth. Uh, the mission of uh, Thomas Pesquet on board the space station has been a great success. We start to think about exploration to the moon, to Mars and so on, and uh, I am sure that uh, the coming years are going to be uh, very, very exciting because uh, space is entering in a new era and uh, ESA uh, is a key player of this new era. Well, jean thank you so much. Thank you. And to our viewers, remember that to learn more about space, you can visit our website at www.esa.int.